Hey everybody, Arnaldo Wofferman here with Compu Show Video Manuals, and today I'm going to show you a couple quick tips. First, we're going to talk about uh, modifying a fixture profile because there's a small issue that I'm having, and I want to show you how to fix it. And that issue came one in the middle of lesson number two. And lesson number two is going to talk about creating this color wheel to control individual PARs in an all-in-one system, such as the DOTS T-PAR or individual PAR cans, or whatever the case may be. This can apply for multiple things. This also works for XY values or, you know, whatever you choose for it to do. Now, the, well, the first thing that I do is I usually, when I first import it, I go into the color mixing and I turn on my dimmer all the way up, right? We're good. And then I go ahead and I grab this, you know, just so I can see the lights or whatever, and I bring it up, and it's not controlling that last one. I'm like, well, why is it not doing that? Because when I open it up, it grabbed all of them. But then I see that the profile has a dimmer curve, and the dimmer curve uses a dimmer value. But the rendering part, the brain of Compute the renders thinks, oh, wait, that's another dimmer, so look what happens there. So we need to fix that part. So what I did is, I'm going to go ahead and go into the library editor, right? Here's mode 5. I'm just going to right click, modify the channel, and I'm just going to choose prism. This light doesn't have a prism, so we're good there. And since it's a curve, we'll add that little rotation to show light curve. That'll, that's good enough. Now it says prism rotation. So I'm just going to double click and write dimmer curve. Okay, now we're just going to save that. I went ahead and deleted it because honestly, I'd rather just start and import it fresh from scratch and make sure there won't be any issues. So there is the dots T par system, mode five, and it shows dimmer curve now that I've modified it. Now let's see what happens. We patch it, we're good to go. All right, magic. Okay, and we're good to go. So the first thing I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take this color mixing tab and I'm going to bring my dimmer all the way up. So dimmer program, bam, all the way up. That way, when I bring this up, there it is right there. All right. Now we have individual control. So what's going to happen now is we're going to go to make a quick scene. Now I'm going to rename this into color mixing all and I'm going to just capitalize all pretty easy there okay I'm actually now going to duplicate it we're gonna do color mix one okay now I could call it color mixing and have it all be as one but I want to have individual buttons because see what happens because there's a compression and if you don't know about compressions watch my video on it if I do this one called color mixing one then it's underneath there and that'll be kind of confusing so I'm just gonna do color mix one and I'm gonna open this up here and we are just going to take all these other fixtures and shut them off okay now watch what happens when I click here and I move them great now when I click here I can just grab that one when I click back bam it jumps back okay let's see there it is when I click there and it jumps there let's go ahead and do that with another one here we go so we're gonna duplicate color mix two. All right. Now we're going to open this up. And again, once I do this for the first three park and or first couple park cans, you'll get the idea. Now there is red, green, and blue. So let's see. Whoops. We want to use, we don't use max and min. We just use the regular dimmer because whatever the color wheel does, it'll move that. All right. So we've got that. We're just going to save it. Check it out. Now we can do that. I can turn that on. Or I could just control it with that. And notice how the color wheel jumps. See right there how it jumped on there. Now if you want to have different color wheels, you could certainly do that. Now we're going to go into layer, layer settings. And now we're just going to do color mix two. All right, so we have a new zone. And now I'm going to open the zone type by clicking the gear icon. We're going to call it color mixing. Okay. Basically, that's going to control my number two. So what I'm doing is, and again, if you haven't seen this video, make sure you check all my other videos. I'm just going to right click and control at the same time, okay? And that's going to allow me to move it over. So there it is right there. Now, it's not working right away. Now, why is that? Well, probably because I have to edit it. 
I've had to do this once or twice, or sometimes I just have to shut down and restart the show. Okay, so now that I click on here, I know that it's not modifying that. And when I click back here, it modifies it again. It's just basically just needed to be refreshed and locked in since we move things like that without restarting the show. Not that you have to restart the show, but when you're talking about stuff like this, yeah. Now you can take this color mix, put it on top, and now you can click it. Makes it super easy. Okay. And that's it. But wait, there's more. You can just grab the light. Okay, so we're just going to go to a regular color mix wheel here. Okay. I'm just going to grab my color mixing here. And I can move that. There it is there. I can click here. There it is there. All right. I can click on this. There it is. I can click here. There it is. Now this works with the color wheel, obviously. And we have good there. Or let's say I want to make this one red. Bam, done. So I can just literally click on each one, grab it. I can dim. Now notice that even though I'm not using dimmer, because this is the regular dimmer, right? And even though when I shut this off and I bring it down, it only brings down the first one, that's only a rendering thing. It would actually shut my entire fixture off. But you can actually grab each individual light and this has a virtual dimmer. If you have not seen the virtual dimmer video, make sure you watch that. So now let's say I just want to shut off my two lights here. So I'm just going to click and I'm going to control click the next one. I'm going to bring these two down, but I'm going to go ahead and have them in red because maybe my wedding colors are going to be pink and red or whatever. So there it is right there. Okay. And then uh, I decide, no, you know what? I want these two to be white because they're focused on the bride and groom. So there it is white right there. And as I bring it up, Bam! Now I've got white light on the bride and groom. Definitely easier than having to click multiple color buttons. Now this only works for the color wheel or the XY grid. Or you can do individual buttons or you can do individual zones. That is completely up to you and whatever workflow works for you. Thank you again so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions or requests, make sure to leave a comment down below. Please subscribe. Thank you so much. Good night. God bless.